ePlan Electric P8 is the basic software for the Lutze LSC configurator. With the Lutze LSC configurator and the Lutze system, control cabinets can be configured faster than you ever imagined. The Lutze LSC configurator is a software tool. You have to install it in addition to ePlan version P8. Start the Lutzer configurator by clicking on the button Create Cabinet. The first step is to choose the control cabinet and the frame size. For instance, TS8604-500. Depending on your selection, a length will be suggested for the side support rails and a width for the frame. The chosen sections are displayed in a window bottom left. In this example, VP-SIM or WP or CP. The first step in building the frame is to set the distance between the first mounting rail and the top edge. Then you select the first new mounting rail. When you select new mounting rail, all available rail types and the widths they're available in are listed. The choice of brackets possible for the selected mounting rail is also displayed. The rail displayed, in this case type A, is an asymmetrical rail because it has only one groove to accept the comb. For this reason there's an additional menu area that allows you to choose between comb on top and comb at bottom. After the rail comes the first rail interspace, which you select via the button New Rail Interspace. Every rail interspace is identified by wiring profile on top, cover and wiring profile at bottom. The wiring comb on top to the preceding rail, the matching cover, and the wiring comb at the bottom to the following rail. Now a new mounting rail. Here for example type MF for building a bus bar system. You choose the bracket height as appropriate for the previous rail. Like the Type A rail, the MF rail is asymmetrical, so under Mounting Type, you have a choice between Groove on Top and Groove at Bottom. We need Groove on Top. The interspace between this and the following rail is a gap, the width of which has to be specified. The next rail for the bus bar system is again an MF rail, in this case with groove at bottom. A new rail interspace. Wiring comb on top. Type KP301. To the following rail, again a KP301. This comb type is chosen because conductor wires with a cross section of more than 2 square millimeters will be used. The following mounting rail SB for a high DIN rail, 120 millimeters wide, for instance, for mounting correspondingly high power supply units. 
The next rail into space. Normal comb profile KP300 on top and at the bottom. Cover KD50. New mounting rail SB100. New rail into space. New mounting rail. Now no more new rails are selected. By clicking alternately on the two buttons New Mounting Rail and New Rail into Space, you can completely fill the frame. Next, a different rail type for mounting devices such as rectifiers, mains filters, etc. The mounting rail has the same dimensions. Then comes another rail into space, a wiring profile, then another mounting rail for somewhat larger devices with a low DIN rail, SNB120, and the choice of brackets. With a rail width of 120 mm, two 26 mm wide brackets can also be chosen. Again, a new rail into space. A new mounting rail. Select a bracket. A new rail into space, a new mounting rail. The frame is completed with Dean rail types SNB80. And now there are three rows of Dean rail. A rail into space with only a wiring comb on the rail forms the termination, so that the next space is a gap. Now to the shielding rail. Beneath the frame with the list of rails, the remaining free space is indicated. Via the Preview button, the complete frame can be displayed again. The preview can be called up at any time during configuration. If you see in the preview that a rail of the wrong size has been chosen, you return to the frame listing, select the place where the rail needs to be exchanged, change the rail type, and then display the complete frame design again by clicking on Finish. With the drawing options integrated in program P8, the frame thus displayed can be modified. For example, you can zoom in on the frame. In frame view, you see the brackets, the rail type, the corresponding comb and cover profiles, and you can also see it all in page view. Via the layer management, the bracket and rail designations can be masked out to create a text-free space for placement of the devices. As soon as the drawing of the frame is complete, the bill of materials for the frame can be generated by clicking on the corresponding button. This bill of materials is created as an Excel file and can be used in this form for exchange of data with the manufacturer. The Lutzer LSC wiring system and ePlan P8. 
fast, convenient and systematic control cabinet design.